Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the latest signage of my 9 beta ROM on the Samsung Epic 4G. So pretty much everything is working. There are only a couple bugs. I will link in the description of the video to go over those bugs. I'm not going to go over them in the video it's just to keep so this video stays current. But anyways, check out the bugs. I will uh, post them in the description of the video, so check that out if you'd like to. But here it is, Signage of My 9, made to emulate the stock ice cream sandwich experience, but pretty much everything works. Everything important, GPS, MMS, SMS, phone, everything. I mean, really, if you guys ran the Alpha ROM, you pretty much know that everything works. Only a few kind of nitpicky bugs are still there, but that that's really it. Not even any nitpicky bugs. I mean, it's pretty much got everything working. It is in beta now. Um, alpha is obviously the more bugs. Beta is just only a couple, and then official should be soon, hopefully. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. I do have a video showing how to install it. If you want to check that out, I will link to that in the description of the video. But here it is. As you can see right away, you got your ice cream sandwich uh, lock screen where you can swipe down the notification bar while you're locked. If you want to quickly go to a messaging, a message or a missed call or whatnot, a G email. Uh, but anyways, um, as you can see, it's made to emulate the stock ice cream sandwich experience pretty much. Um, up at the top, you got your stock, uh, stock clock, blue clock, ice cream sandwich battery, ice cream sandwich icons. I don't have my phone, I'm, my number on my phone at the moment. So um, it really will not uh, be on 3G, obviously, since my number's not on my phone. Uh, so you won't see 3G going on. 4G does work. Um, I mean, as I said, pretty much everything does work. Uh, you got your quick panel widgets up here. You got uh, a quick settings button right here. We can go quickly to settings, as you can see. Let's go ahead and go back now. Um, swipe that down again. But really, that's uh, that's it for the notification bar. It is a little bit transparent. It does have a dark tint to it, though. Uh, get your sprint down here. So that would be the, the notification bar right there. Um, icons, obviously stock ice cream sandwich icons. I do like those a lot. You have your, basically your modified stock ice cream sandwich launcher. It is pretty much stock, but it does have tweaks that you can do courtesy of the Science Mod 9 ROM, of course. You have your widgets, you have your apps. You do have a 4G widget right there if you want to check that out. But let's go ahead and go to menu, go to settings real quick, scroll down, go to about phone. As you can see, it's Android version 4.0.3 right there. Sign Jamon version 9, um, I am on the beta right now. So there you have it there, which is great that uh, they got that going for us. Anyways, other things about this ROM, um, they, there are many very cool things actually. So in the app drawer, no, no apps out of the ordinary. In regards to voicemail, though, there is no visual voicemail app. You will notice that that's not compatible with Sign Jamon 9. I believe you can just call your phone number if you want to check your voicemails, or you can get it set up with uh, Sprint uh, Google Voice. Sorry, you can get your voicemail set up with Google Voice if you want to do that. Um, I will link to other options that you have in the description of the video if you want to set up voicemail with another uh, option. So you got that option there. Um, camera obviously works. Video video playback now does work, so keep that in mind that, uh, I mean, video playback does work now. Um, I mean, pretty much everything did get fixed. Um, I mean, your camera obviously is going to work. I'm going to take a picture real quick. Took one real quick, obviously. Um, took a couple, actually. And then we go video recording. We can do that. We can record some video. And I'm taking a, I'm recording video of me recording video. So I've got some inception going on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, enough with the, enough with the camera. Um, other things that uh, they did fix. There's uh, no more disappearing SD card ringtone missing. If some people that did... Uh, have that bug. They actually freed up a lot more memory, so there's 36 meg more of memory, so that's great that they did that. Uh, overall, it feels very smooth, very snappy, pretty much no lag whatsoever going on in this ROM, so very nice that they, they probably worked out pretty much everything. Um, it's probably very close to official release. But let's go back into the settings, actually, and as you can see, you have launcher settings. As I said, it's a modified stock launcher. You can change the number of home screens that you have. Um, you can have it resize any widget. You can get rid of the search bar, so if you don't like the search bar on your home screen, you can get rid of that. You have transition effects, tablet. Let's try that tablet real quick. You have a bunch of them, though, if you did notice that. Let's try tablet uh, transitions. Does not look like a change. I don't know if a reboot needs to happen before those to go into effect. It might. So keep that in mind. Try and reboot your phone. I'm not going to do that now, but if you want to mess with those transition effects, uh, you can do that. But anyways, other things. You have drawer settings where you can change the transition effect of those. Uh, page indicator as well. You have dock. You don't have dock. You don't have icons. Those two are just blank right now. General auto-rotate screen. So you can have it auto-rotate the home screen without having to pull out the, the keyboard. So as you can see, it'll auto-rotate even with the keyboard 
in or out. So keep that in mind, that's kind of nice. Uh, there shouldn't be any keyboard skipping for those of you that did ask about that with the latest, with the other Sign Gemini 9 builds, there really isn't any. So uh, keep that in mind. But other than that, I mean, it is pretty much a very stock ice cream sandwich experience as all Sign Gemini 9 ROMs are. Uh, back into the settings though, Themes is just a placeholder for now. So they haven't ported that over yet. Uh, Sign and Gemini team hasn't actually. So you got system settings as well. Notification drawer, um, you have other options here, haptic feedback, uh, notification drawer up, up at the top, you got these buttons right here, you can actually edit those. Widget buttons, you have a bunch of different options you can add, so let's say I wanted to add toggle airplane mode up at the top, now when I swipe down it should be there, as you can see airplane mode is right there now, so it's nice that I have that option. You can actually change the order of them, just go to widget button order, and let's say I want to put airplane mode above sound right away it gets changed. So airplane mode is now above sound. So that's really great that that, that's, that custom, customization is available. Um, so that's that's really, really nice that you can add all of those. Font size you can change as well if you want huge font size. If, if you have eye problems or just like having a bigger size, you, can, you have that option, which is actually very nice to have. Lock screen, uh, still a basically a temporary placeholder. There will be lock screen settings in the future, I do believe. So that's kind of nice that they will be adding those. But other than that, I mean, you have performance settings down here. I don't I don't know if they uh, let you overclock. Let's check it out, go to maximum, they don't. But I'm sure there, there will be custom kernels uh, out for your device if you do choose to overclock on your ROM so that you can mess with in the performance options in the settings itself. So that's really nice. Uh, obviously you got your, basically with Ice Cream Sandwich, you have your widgets that you can scroll. They're scrollable widgets and resizable widgets. So, I mean, you can scroll through them. Obviously um, you can scroll through them right here, which is great. Pick it up, drop it right back down. You'll see some dots around it. You can resize it however you want to resize it, as big as you want it, as small as you want it, as you can see. So just tap outside or press the back arrow to stop editing. That only works on some of the widgets, the resizing, but you can make it work on all of them, as I said, in the uh, basically the launcher settings, you can change that. Uh, other things, of course, um, with the transition, I said that it wasn't working, needed a reboot, it actually is working, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it does have the tablet style uh, rotation and sc screen transition animation in between there, it just didn't... I didn't notice it because of the no widgets on my home screen. So keep that in mind that that is there. You do have your grouping option, of course. Just drop gallery on the camera, and there you have it. Go into it. You can rename it if you'd like to. You can just go tap on unnamed folder and rename it. You get your stock ice cream sandwich uh, keyboard here, which is great. I really love this keyboard. Hi. So let's rename it to hi, and there you have it. Drops down, and you got your folder, which is very great. You can have them down here as well if you wanted contacts to be on top of messaging. You have that there down in the uh, the dock bar. You just press and hold on them, you can get rid of them, you can edit those as much as you'd like, which is which is great. But overall, everything very, seems very, very smooth and fast. Uh, really impressed with the speed of this ROM. So great that they're, uh, they're really making huge progress on this ROM. Big shout out to everyone that got involved with the CM team and getting this going on our phones. So really great that this is working. Um, I mean, everything works, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, everything, as I said earlier in the video. So really great that everything does work as well. But yeah, that's really about it. Uh, just a, a quick overview of the Sinjima 9 ROM on your Epic 4G. Figured I'd do a full review for you guys. As I said, now you have Market and such now that you installed the G apps add-on, of course. But yeah, that would be that would be it. Um, I mean, if you do have any questions at all, let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.